focusing on Atreus, what were some of the challenges of designing, you know, Kratos as a son? Uh, I know one of the first things we talked about, uh, I think half the studio wanted the kid to be yoked out, uh, like a little bodybuilder, kind of being a Kratos' son, thinking he should be huh. really massive, but <laughs> I think Corey's intent was to do the opposite. Like that little kid bodybuilder? Yeah. The tiny, uh, uh. Little Hercules? Yeah, I definitely was not too into that. I mean, honestly, the kid's look kind of came to light when we cast Sonny. You know, like for me, we kind of drew a bunch of stuff. You guys did the exploration where you kind of said, here's what Kratos looks like. Let's see what a 10-year-old version of yeah. Kratos would look like. And we tried to kind of do all these different versions. And nothing really connected and nothing felt right. And it's really hard, I think, to draw kids, right? Like yeah. there's so little detail going on that the, the, the uniqueness is so subtle. It's so small, right? And it's like what came from is casting Sonny, seeing his headshot and going like, man, that's that's the kid right yeah. there you know that's what he looks like so yeah. that was that was a really good find i think when we were able to get him and i think on the concept side it was really nice talking about going against maybe what was expected the idea that he's intentionally looks a little more meek we wanted that to kind of play up his innocence with the world because kratos has a view of the gods and mythology that's uh he has one way but we also wanted kind of this this innocence and wonder to fill the world yeah, you need that balance, right? Yeah. You don't want to end up like the Defenders where everybody's just punching somebody. And you're like, oh, wow, there's no difference, right? You look at the Avengers, it's like everybody has their part that they play. If the kid was big and strong, then it would be Kratos and Tiny Kratos doing yeah, the exactly. same thing. And it's really like each of them, as even in the game we say, like every god has their own sort of uniqueness, mm -hmm. right? And his uniqueness is vastly different from Kratos. It's just uh, what he carries with him is the negative sides right like yeah. the bad traits of kratos are part of his dna i, I even remember one of the early and maybe internal playtests too like we, we heard lightning in the background and the kid was like oh is that giants fighting and just this really cool way of looking at the world where kratos is like, oh, more yeah. like yeah whatever yeah i think for this character too we could imagine him growing up and all the elements that we could add into his costume like kratos's touches and the mom's touches and all this stuff mm -hmm. i think that helped bring the all the the visual to to life yeah, like with the, he's got Chris' red sash, and when you see the mom, you know, she's wrapped in yellow, and he's got her kind of scarf around his neck, so he's kind of walking the line between both of them. Yeah, it's this cool authenticity. I think it exists both within the creation of the worlds and the characters, is that feeling of even little details on these characters make things feel more authentic, more real. The yeah. idea of wearing Kratos's, you know, piece of Kratos' cloth really does feel like things were assembled with what whatever was nearby, whatever was around. Uh, it tells the story of the world, but also kind of identifies who the character is rather than having this perfectly like made suit, right? It's kind of the early Spider-Man homemade suit versus the professionally made suit, right? Even trying to mimic some of the stuff that he sees on Kratos, like the wrappings on the hands, even though like not knowing what those are, like sort of little shoulder pad or stuff that mimics the, the designs on yeah. both ways. I don't think you can see it in these ones, but we did these. We have these tattoos in the game, and Atreus has one going up his arm. And we wanted that to kind of help him with shooting the bow. So we designed it so when he actually pulls the bow back, the tattoos in line, like that actually gives help to the arrows. So all those little little arrows we try and pay attention to. Yeah, we didn't really think people would go that deep into trying to solve this. And like E3 2016, people were already solving yeah. all the tattoos on his arm. Yeah. <laughs> And it was like, what, like two weeks before we were going to go off E3, you said, these are gibberish, should I change these? <laughs> and I was like, yes, please. We need to make those to actually say something. Yeah, that that was a lot of the design. Same thing for the face, because you mentioned Sonny and casting him, but then bringing it to, like, uh, doing characterization and bringing a lot of the story, like the scars on his face and yeah. a lot of the, you know, growing up and being a harsh universe. And yes, I like that we haven't answered the question of how he got the scar on his cheek. Because there is a story that's going to go behind that, but I, I kind of want to wait for that story and use it in a later iteration of the game. But everybody keeps asking about that. And yeah, cool. yeah, that was all has intent behind it. Yeah, I like too how you guys focused on like bringing some of the Greek stuff into the costuming, but also like he's sort of a the bridge yeah. into the Norse costuming. So it's sort of that combination mm -hmm. of his two homes. Yeah, no, and that was even like between like Ralph said, like the Kratos sash and the scar from the mom like he literally is two halves of yeah and it was, it was really fun too to play with all the upgrades and how he improves upon he you know he's wearing and add a little bit of that touch of the 
different creatures of the, the universe and how do we bring that into the costume. And that was also really fun to play with.